magnificent Canadian Rockies. I'm here in Canada to discover how one very special airline is connecting more and more people, not only to Canada's great outdoors, but to destinations throughout North America with an aircraft that is elevating economy air travel in this part of the world. I'll be visiting vibrant Toronto before heading west to Calgary and the picturesque town of Banff. There really is no better way to experience the grandeur and sheer beauty of this wilderness than by the traditional mode of transport, four legs, or in this case, 32. Let's go, Russell. It's going to be an incredible journey. I began the first leg of my journey in the United States. Famous for its nightlife, energy and shopping, New York is a city constantly on the move and Porter already operates services here and other key US cities with their fleet of turboprop aircraft. But across North America, there's a growing demand for faster connections and newer services. The E2 can help fulfill this demand and enhance businesses like Porter Airlines. Embraer already have a significant presence in North America with their aircraft thanks to the E-175 which forms the backbone of many regional carriers and most importantly passengers love to fly on them. I'm off to meet up with Michael Deleuze, President and CEO of Porter Airlines to get his perspective on what makes the E-2 such an important aircraft for North America. just landed in Toronto, the home of Porter Airlines. It's an international centre in arts, sports, culture and finance. It's one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world and Michael has arranged to meet at the Steam Whistle. Arthur, good to see you. Hi there Michael, nice to see you. What a wonderful city you have. Yeah, we're right in the middle of downtown Toronto. And we have Billy Bishop Airport about three kilometres away and we're here at a partner of ours. Great, well, let's go and have a look. Hey, this place looks really cool, Michael. Yeah, it's pretty neat. They have all sorts of merchandise there as well. And you serve this beer on your aircraft? Yeah, we've served this beer since 2006. I mean, this is a great local business and one that uh, we've supported almost 15 years. Yeah, wow. Firstly, congratulations on your new order of 100 E195 E2s. You as a company and personally have to be really excited about it. The entire Porter team is extremely excited. We have an order for up to 100 E195 E2 aircraft. We've taken delivery of our first 10 aircraft over the last uh, four months, which has been uh, great and really quick. And we've already put those aircraft into service, serving a wide range of destinations across Canada. So we're very excited. Over how many years will you phase all of those 100 aircraft in? It's a massive order. So our first 50 firm aircraft will come between 2023 and the end of 2024. And then the additional 50 purchase right aircraft, we have planned to bring those online 2025 and beyond. The E2 is the most sustainable single aisle aircraft in the world. And that's because of its efficient fuel burn, its noise reduction, and also its fuel economy as well. Is this something that's really important to Porter, given where you operate? It's very important to our customers. It's important to everyone. And certainly was a key deciding factor for Porter in the selection of the E2. It is the quietest narrow-body aircraft available on the market, has the lowest uh, CO2 emissions of any aircraft, including against the A220-300, which was an alternative aircraft we were looking at. And of course, you wrap all that up with the lowest fuel burn in the segment on both the trip basis, but as well a seat cost basis. So it's a compelling economic proposition as well. There are two types of economy ticket, isn't there? There's Porter Reserve and Porter Classic. Can you tell me a bit about those? Porter is focused entirely on economy air travelers. It's a segment of the market that we think competitors have really ignored over the last many years, focused instead on premium travelers. Porter offers two different fare classes within economy. Porter Reserve, which is an all-inclusive fare priority service, significantly more legroom a complimentary fresh and tasty and healthy meal served on board, along with our standard beer, wine, and premium cocktails. Whereas our Porter Classic mirrors more 
of the product that we have had in the market since 2006, which really is an elevated level of economy versus any other economy product in the market. What has really differentiated us is two by two configuration, allowing Porter to be the only carrier operating narrow body aircraft that has no middle seats across our fleet. Porter has the highest customer satisfaction of any airline in North America. And I think a lot of that has to do with uh, the way the product is positioned and delivered. And you're expanding rapidly, introducing new routes all the time, not just Canada, but America and further afield. So with the E2 and its, its pretty terrific range at 2,600 nautical miles from Eastern Canada, we're able to service all destinations, uh, Canada, the US, Mexico, Caribbean, uh, coast to coast, so it's a very versatile aircraft that offers Porter a lot of growth potential going forward. Now, Michael, running an airline's got to be a pretty full-on job, 24-7, I would imagine. Do you ever get any time off? I do get a bit of time off and like to spend it with my family, traveling, and uh, Porter's broad range of destinations makes it uh, you know, pretty interesting. I know you have not traveled with Porter before, Arthur, so I am uh, very excited to tell you that you've been invited to try our service to Calgary tomorrow. Calgary is an amazing location, and so I actually have a ticket right here yeah. I want to present to you, and I uh, look forward to you flying on us tomorrow. Perfect, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, God. Arthur. I appreciate that. It was now time to head to the airport and board Porter's brand new E195 E2 for the four and a half hour flight to Calgary and to meet my fellow passengers and the Porter team who would be looking after me. Hey, you, sir. Hey, how's it going? You okay? Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks. All right. Okay, you okay? A fond farewell to Toronto and on to the next leg of my incredible journey. So I'm on my way to Calgary and I'm enjoying some of Porter's complimentary in-flight service. They've given me this little brown box, it's packed full of loads of great stuff. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got like a Tex-Mex. It's really, really nice. Some dips and all sorts of things here and a little sweet treat too. But you know what else? The Embraer E2 is a fantastic aircraft because I've got loads of light coming through these windows. I've got bags of space in here. I don't have any middle seats, so I'm not crammed up next to somebody. And probably, most notably, I can actually hear myself think. <laughs> the engines are really quiet. The cabin's really quiet. It's just a really nice, pleasurable, peaceful flying experience. All of the complimentary food and meals that we give, they're all made fresh and when they open it up, it's very unique, I guess. It's not something that you get on other flights. It's wonderful that we have two galleys in the front and the back of the aircraft. Gives us a lot more things to actually work with in terms of uh, passenger service. Can I offer you another steam whistle for the aircraft? Perfect. Thank you very much indeed. Of course, it's my pleasure. Enjoy. Cheers. I will do. Well, there you are. I was enjoying a nice crisp pint of steam whistle in Toronto yesterday, and here we are at 30,000 feet halfway to Calgary. And I can tell you that it tastes just as good up here as it did down there. <sighs> Cheers. After a really enjoyable flight on the E2, I've landed in Calgary, and there's one place nearby I'm really keen on visiting. Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame. In 2017, Robert J. Deleuze, Michael's father, was inducted into the Hall of Fame. The Deleuze family have been connected to and pioneers of Canadian aviation for more than 50 years. Robert followed in his parents' footsteps by developing chartered and regional carriers and expanding Canadian aviation. And then, in 2006, with his son Michael and other founding members, they established Porter Airlines. Fast forward to today, as we know, they're becoming pioneers again by signing the deal with Embraer and becoming the first operators in North America of the E195 E2. After an early start, I headed west for the short journey into the Rocky Mountains. 
The excellent fuel efficiency and sustainability of the new generation aircraft means Porter can continue to open new routes, giving leisure travellers and seasoned adventurers the opportunity to explore stunning wilderness like this. It likes to run fast. Yeah. What a journey it's been. I've experienced firsthand Porter's stellar economy service on their brand new E2. It really is something special. I've also enjoyed spending time with Michael Deleuze and discovering his vision for Porter Airlines. Their huge E2 order will undoubtedly energize the airline and benefit the passengers who fly on them. What a breathtaking way of enjoying the great outdoors and the wilderness. I mean, just look at it. It really is no place like Canada. Join me next time for another incredible journey.